Now, what better way to enjoy the stunning Yorkshire countryside than by gently gliding across it on a summer breeze? Well, this week, the promise of beautiful views of North Yorkshire has brought dozens of pilots from all over the world to our region for the UK Vintage Glider Rally. Well, it's being held at Sutton Bank Airfield near Thirsk, which is said to be one of the oldest and best-known gliding sites in Europe. This week, it will see aircraft some built as far back as World War II taking to the skies. Well, Michael Billington is live there for us tonight. Michael. Well, Christine, I would love to be able to show you this stunning part of the world. We're right on the edge of the North York Moors, and believe it or not, just over my shoulder there is a fairly stunning view of North Yorkshire. Unfortunately, uh, the rain has defeated us. Everybody's uh, gone inside to try and escape some of the bad weather, and that view has disappeared. But actually, that's not the view we're interested in. The view we really like is the one from up there, a mile high, a bird's eye view of North Yorkshire. We managed to get our cameras up there a little earlier on with one of the pilots who was performing some aerobatics and it really gave you a stunning view of North Yorkshire. Even uh, at one point we managed to capture uh, the white horse at Kilburn. Um, so some amazing views from up there. The, the aircraft that they were in were, as you mentioned, uh, gliders. That I think the, the aircraft that was filmed in was built in the 1970s, but these are the machines that were really here to see. Uh, vintage aircraft. Uh, Andy is the chief uh, uh, flying instructor here. Um, um, tell us what's so special about these aircraft. Well, as you can see, they're absolutely uh, gorgeous to look at. They're craftsman's made and still in marvellous condition after all these years. Is there something special about flying these compared to flying normal gliders? Well, the challenge in any glider is just to stay up and, and to, to travel around the country, hopefully. Um, but these do bring a certain appeal. As you say, open cockpit, wind in the hair. Uh, it's lovely. And the reason we've had to retreat inside is because these are actually made of something different to modern day gliders. Yeah, modern day gliders are built out of carbon and Kevlar and high tech. These are wooden craftsmen built aircraft. OK, thanks very much indeed. Well, uh, one of the pilots that's brought their vintage aircraft uh, along to uh, the rally this week is Nora. Uh, Nora, um, clearly a, a female pilot, but we don't see too many of people like yourself. Oh, yeah. Um, that should change, definitely. I mean, I don't see why not. Yeah, not, yeah. Many, not many women actually get involved in a sport like this, but no. what are they missing? What do you enjoy oh, about it? It's lots of fun and it's a bit of adrenaline, but it's also quite peaceful and, yeah, you just get out and about and see okay. the sights. OK, well, thank you very much indeed. Well, uh, people have actually travelled from right around the world uh, to be here this week. Uh, Paul Dixon came from Australia, in fact, um, right. so literally the other side of the world. Um, and the reason you came here was because you wanted to see the place where your plane or your aircraft was built. That's right. I've got a Slingsby Dart, and it was made in Kirby Moorside just down the road from here. So this is the home of my aircraft and so many others like it. So I wanted to come here and see them. How do the Yorkshire weather conditions compare to the Australian ones? It's a little bit different, but what's good here is the scening, scenery of North Yorkshire is absolutely stunning from the air, so it was worth it coming. OK, thanks very much indeed. Well, uh, the rally is on for the rest of the week. Hopefully we'll get some better weather and some more flights later this week. Michael, thanks very much indeed.